it's been three days and no text. It was going, it was flowing. And then all of a sudden, nothing like, look at this, all these paragraphs. And then after Sunday, they turned into one word responses. Maybe he got busy. Yeah, I bet he got busy. I mean, like how people used to say, let's get busy. And then they would fuck each other. Right. Erica was used to hearing about Grace Bums on the road to love, but lately it seemed like he was intentionally swerving towards the potholes. What are you- You deserve better, a lot better, believe me. I think we are- Wait, wait, the... why did you Hang just- Hang on, please don't talk about them. Sorry. No, it's okay. I just don't think that you should be squeezing your phone hoping a text falls out. Yeah, you're right, fuck him. But not like I'm gonna go fuck him, although that would be nice. Ugh. Erica cared about Gray, and it hurt her to see him so lost and so incompetent. Hey, you're doing it again. You need to let the rabbit learn to chase the fox, you understand? No, I really don't, and you need to stop it. Yeah, what? She said. Um, you're like, you're narrating our conversation. Anton was paranoid. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? You just did it. Then what? Wait, you were like this a little while ago. And they literally don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, it was just like a theater game because it sucks. No, no, you know what it is? I have an audition later this week. His director dressed in it. I'm probably just doing it by mistake or accident. Okay, got it. Secret reveal? That was your audition. Directed dress is so lazy. It's like voiceover in film. The point should be to hide pertinent details in the writing of a scene. Like, we should be striving toward naturalism. Like, I, I want you to make me feel that you're sad. Don't be like, hey, everybody, I'm sad. You know what I mean? Gray had rigid views about the classic ways of storytelling. He was also confused about the difference between naturalism and realism. Okay, no, I'm not. That's enough. Can you please stop yelling? I'm not yelling. Erica could see the disgusting vein in his neck bulging up and down. She was reminded of her best friend from high school's father, Dennis, a powerfully built man who was often angry about his lot in life. He had a similar vein in his neck. Erica learned via Instagram that Dennis had died recently. She worried that one day Gray would go the same way. Okay, I don't think that's funny. I don't think jokes about mortality are funny, and I don't think jokes are about things that people can't change are either. Gray's opinions now extended to where comedy should draw the line, which was interesting because Gray was normally not a person of any opinions or useful thoughts. Hey, I'm gonna fucking slap you if you don't quit it. Quit doing what? You can do that one day. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, wait, fuck, fuck, fuck. No. This is him, this is him. No, no, you need to be the rabbit. No. Drop it, no, drop it. No, give it to me. Erica. Uh, God, you made me miss it. And you're in the game, baby. But all fairy tales must come to an end. Little known fact, that's why they're called tales. Also, Scott Joplin was Janis Joplin's grandfather. It's not true. Hey, let's just let bygones be themselves. Because really, that's all we can ever do. Truce. Truce. God, what was all that narration about? I don't know. Do you think? Do you think you don't have to voice it?